Hello, good morning. This is Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. Today I'd like to talk about the body control module in the L322 Range Rover model years 2002 to 2005. We will be called the BMW manufactured years. So the body control module in this vehicle is actually quite interesting. It's, it's, it's fairly uh, simplistic in its diagnostics. It's not terribly difficult to work with, especially compared to the later Ford years. This is a walk in the park. So let's go over some of the secrets and delve into the configuration, what I call the configuration string that's used to set up the body control module for this vehicle. So first we're gonna open up our all comms software and plug in our all comms hardware right here. The hardware is working, it's open and we have a valid device ID. Let's also check for updates real quick. Right, it says right here we already have the most recent version but it's uh, always good to make sure you have the most recent version and double check that every time you run the software just to make sure so let's go through we're going to work with the body control module debug panel some of this panel is misunderstood by people some people think they just go in here and start pressing buttons and what happens is um, they incorrectly configure their vehicle with one of these preset uh, defaults and they lose functions in their car they lose things like some of the locking functions or some of the like the rain sensor is a common thing that disappears. These are just defaults. These buttons here is, is basically just to recode your body control module kind of as a last ditch diagnostic effort before, before replacing it, before deciding you need to replace it. Sometimes these body control modules go into a strange situation where they just stop, they stop responding and recoding it with these defaults can sometimes bring it back to an operational state. So this is something a lot, lot, very few people know about. Let's go ahead and open communications with the body control module. And what's gonna happen is it's going to return to us the body control module configuration string. So this right here is uh, the body control module configuration string. Let's go ahead and close communications. We don't need communications to go. This is the configuration string. Now in this string, uh, well, we have a few things. We have the body control module address, zero, zero. We have uh, 16, which should be the length of the internal uh, hex string. Uh, we have A0, which is says we have a proper response. That's like a valid response. And I don't recall off the top of my head what a lot of this other stuff is. This may be the payload of the message right here. But that right there is the configuration string of the body control module. So when you're over here in the um, in these functions here, changing these dropdowns, changing these dropdown options for the body control module options, what you're actually doing is flipping on and off different bits inside each of these uh, hexadecimal values. And uh, it's really simply a matter of just flipping one bit on or one bit off. So when you open communications here, this string is stored in a defaults file. You go to Tools and View Logs, and let's pull up the most recent one. There we go. So there's our configuration string. Now, let's say you accidentally modify something you didn't intend to, and you want to go back and find your original configuration string. That original configuration string will be date and time stamped. Starting with the defaults file, go find your earliest date and the earliest time. And what you can do is you can simply copy this string. Make sure you copy just from the first hex value to the last hex value and include that colon there. Copy it. We're going to go over to here and you simply matter of pasting it in. Well, first let's open communications. Then you're going to paste in the configuration string that you found in your defaults file and you're going to write that configuration string to the body control module. That's it. So what we just did there was we open communications. We grab our original configuration string. You go back as far as you can find. It's like if something went wrong and you want to find your original configuration string before you started messing with the software, go back, copy this string. Again, you open communications. It's going, to, it's going to copy the current configuration string, which we don't want. We're going to paste in, paste our new configuration string from back in the beginning of time, write the message, and we're done. Close communications. 
So that's a quick introduction of how to use some of the lesser known or perhaps unknown body control module debug functions. Um, again, you can go back in history, find your defaults file, copy the string out, make sure you copy it to the last colon there, otherwise it won't, it won't parse that string properly. Open communications, paste in your new your string from the original string, write it, and that should restore your original configuration to your body control module on your L322 Range Rover. And hopefully that can, this is a way to back up or unwind some unintentional changes you may have made. Thanks for watching.